I got to the point of my uh, having a mission about talking about elder care uh, when I realized that many of the older people I was caring for in their families weren't really able to tell their stories as time went by. So I thought that I, somebody needed to be the voice. And I felt that I was in a position after several decades of caring for a lot of older people, meeting with families, trying to coordinate care with other physicians, uh, that I'm, I'm a, somebody who uh, was in a position to tell the stories. It also got uh, revved up another notch when my mother uh, needed to uh, have more care and I got involved in taking care of her, uh, having her live with us for parts of uh, the year, uh, trying to negotiate her care needs as she got older. And then I was wearing a different hat. I was very competent as a doctor. But as a son, I realized that you're in a totally different position and not very empowered. So that kind of drove me to say, how can I write a little guide a guidebook for older people and their families uh, that is like the Dr. Spock book for uh, having a family with older people. Uh, because you're, as the years go by, you get a little different each year. Uh, as the decades go by, you are maturing still. And uh, people in your family don't understand exactly what that's like. The concepts of slow medicine fit together with palliative care because both are, regardless of your age or circumstances, are focused on understanding the individual and the individual's needs and problems, and then figuring out how to convey that understanding to the other healthcare professionals who may be offering advice or support or care for that person. An important part of this is developing what my older patient uh, has called circle of concern. That is people who know you well enough and with whom you're willing to share things so that when you're facing a difficult situation, whether it's moving out of a home of many decades, whether it's deciding whether or not to have a, a kind of elective a procedure done for a heart problem, or whether it's curtailing your driving, you have a group of people around you who help you to come to grips with understanding where you are in your journey of, of aging.